Doug, a medical student from East Anglia, had made a comment in one of our videos about a pie, which I think is a great idea because I love a good pie. Yeah, and you're not the only one because that was one of the most liked comments, wasn't it? The most liked request. So mm -hmm. people want to see pies, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do a ham and mushroom pie. We'll make the filling and the sauce separate, throw them together, stick it in a pie dish, cut with some pastry, yes. job done. All right? Yes. So first job's first, we're going to make the sauce over here, Baz. Mm -hmm. So the sauce is a fairly classical sauce, it's called a roux. It starts with butter, so we pop that into a pan and we just want that to melt down. As soon as that butter's melted, we put an equal quantity of flour in as well. So stir it in, it'll become like a dough paste. Ooh, Keep it moving nice, nice and quick, that's it. And this is the basis of the roux, and this is where you need to cook the flour out, the flour's gonna thicken the sauce. And then the milk goes in, a little bit at a time, and just stir Ooh. it. And this is the key, if you put all the milk in at once, it will go lumpy. So keep it moving, So and a little bit of pepper in there as well. We can always season it again later on. And a little bit of salt. Okay, next bit of milk. And if I can leave you just to add that milk, a little bit at a time, yep. each time it comes smooth, just keep Trust adding me. more. Okay. All good. Now over this side, Mike, we've got the important bit. We're gonna do the filling. So ham and mushroom. If you can just take these mushrooms, peel them, and slice them up, and I'm gonna do the same with the onion. Now I guess we're only making enough here for the three of us, so probably half an onion would be absolutely fine. Let's go for a dice. So, so why would you peel a mushroom? I've never understood this. Big mushrooms like that, you don't really just want the, you want the skin in there. It's not the end of the world. It wouldn't ruin the dish if you left it on, but it saves washing them as well. I'm all for it. <laughs> I've also got clover garlic. Pretty standard start to everything we do, the onion and garlic. So I'm going to pop these onions into our pan to start frying these off, and the garlic as well. We'll put a lid on, just helps to cook it and sweat it down. Okay. But if you just slice those mushrooms up, yep. keep them relatively chunky. How does this pie compare to one of the, uh, the famous Sweeney Todd's? Sweeney Todd. Yeah. Well, we're putting ham in this. This is not human flesh. Oh. This is the flesh of a pig. So what does human taste like? Don't know. If you know the answer, <laughs> comment below. <laughs> this is just ham that I've pre-cooked. It's left over from something else we did before. I can stick the mushrooms into the pan as well. So they can go in with our onions and a couple of bay leaves in there as well. So that's just extra flavour. We just want to fry those mushrooms off. So next job, the parsley. We'll need that to go through the sauce just at the end. If I can trust you with the big knife, you do that. And I'm going to take the chicken stock cube over to Baz. Your sauce looks pretty much there, Baz. Mm -hmm. but what I'm going to do is just place a little bit of chicken stock cube in there, and that's just going to give it a little bit of extra flavour. Okay. What you're looking for with the sauce is the consistency that coats the spoons. You can draw a line through the back of it and the line ah. holds. Gloopy. So that's how you know that it's the right consistency. Mm -hmm. So now we can pop our ham in there as well. There's some big mushrooms. Big chunky mushrooms, big chunky bits of ham. We're not messing oh, around with this. It's manly milk. Proper pie. Cool, now we can bring everything over here. Bring the sauce over, Baz. It's all about there. Beautiful, in there. Perfect, and that's gonna oh, form. Oh. That'll do. Let's see, we cool. might, can always add a bit more in. We don't want it too sloppy, this pie. And then all of your parsley, Mike, in there as well. It's pretty fine. Look that is that. pretty fine, it's a good Look job, good job. Throw it in there. So that's our pie filling. If we I want pie cake. cheese. That yeah. you can use soup for this. To so save all that can stuff you? Yeah, a, night, a really thick mushroom soup. If you haven't got the time to make the roux, that's a really simple alternative. That would work, yeah, nice idea. Good, good, good. You should be a chef, Mike. Well, I, well, here I am. So our pie filling goes in there. That looks good. Is there yep. kind of missing one main bit of it? I guess the bit that makes it a pie. It's We're going to put his hat. Yeah, we put his lid on, cool. which, I'm going to be honest, we cheated again. This time, puff pastry is so much easier to buy puff pastry. You can get such good puff pastry now, it's really not worth it good? making it. You can make sweet paste, you can make short crust yep. paste. We'll be doing that in loads of other videos. If you can crack the egg into there and give it a whisk up, mm. that's going to be our glue, which is going to stick the pastry to the lid. Is that a double yolk? How did you manage to get one of them? A double yolk? That's incredible. That's lucky. Now that is... A it's going to be one Boom, hell of a right pie. So, and then all you need to do is like your painting, just yep. take the yolk and just brush it round here and that's going to what's stop the pastry ah. from falling off. So if you can do that, yep. there we go. Yep. That's going to go on there. Just push it down the sides and then we can just cut away the excess. And your fingers. So we just cut off there. Just cut all the way around. So you can make these pies obviously as big as you like. Look at Ben's size compared to Barry's. Shut my rough and ready. That's all I've heard. Beautiful. And then the final bit is to egg wash the top again, which gives it a nice shine when we I cook wasn't it. expecting that. So all over. <laughs> ben, Barry's been can, we, um, can we write something in it or not? I'm too late now. It's a bit late now. Damn. Pie's there, so it's gonna go into an oven, nice and hot, 200 degrees, for about half an hour or so. The paste will puff up, the filling will bubble, and there we have it, easy as that. Lovely stuff. <laughs> After half an hour, that looks amazing. our pie has puffed up. You can see the egg wash has made a lovely golden oh. crust. 
So there yeah. we go. Now I reckon if we just cut in here, nice chunky portion. Pretty up. Certainly has. So for Doug and any other pie lover out there, it's our ham and mushroom pie sorted. Mm. 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 Yep, dive in. Up, there you go. Mmm. Hot. Wow, well, well, gorgeous for hot. <laughs>